Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the next open beta, we're finally going to be taking a first look at the air to ground radar in the Hornet. Now, this has certainly been a long time in coming, and we're really excited to have this out the door for you guys to take a look at for the first time. Now, there's two different ways you can select the air to surface radar. Uh, the first is if you're already in the air to air mode, you can select the surface uh, push button select option here, or you can go directly by selecting the air to ground master mode. And here we have the air to surface radar here on the right DDI. Now, the important thing to remember about air to surface radar is it's all based on the return of the signal. If the signal is uh, absorbed, say, by something like water, or it's into space where it's not getting any return, it's going to come back black. So in this case, we have a shoreline where we have the bay, we have uh, black water, and we have a black line here, which is actually the backside of a mountain range. Uh, this is called radar shadow. And it's basically the radar is not able to see behind that area, so it's black. Now conversely, areas that are generally bright or white are man-made object areas, uh, buildings, roads, power lines, and that sort of thing. So here in map mode, the lowest resolution, it gives you a general idea of the topography, coastlines, mountain range, and general cities. Uh, later on, we'll do the expand modes, which will give you increasing levels of detail. Now, just like the air-to-air -air radar, it's displayed in a top-to-bottom range and side-to-side -side in azimuth. So using the uh, range controls, we can increase the range. Generally, you want to be 40 at max, and you can bring it all the way down to 5 if you wish. But we'll keep it around 20 to 40 for now. And again, just like the air-to-air, -air, we have different azimuth settings, but the greater your azimuth setting, the slower the update. So right now we're at 120 degrees. We can narrow it down with a really fast update of 20, increase to 45, to 90, and back to 120. We have the option for freeze, which will, as you might imagine, freeze the display. We have a reset, which if you start fiddling around with the different controls, you can re reset it back to the default. And we also can go to silent mode, which actually uh, ends the transmissions of the radar and automatically puts it into freeze mode. Let's disable that for now. Now going to the data mode, we have a declutter option. Right now it's enabled, but if you disable it, we have a velocity vector and roll angle indicator. And also we have the gain indicator. So right now it's at a level five, but we can increase that or decrease it. And this is controlling the radar display in the background. If we want to control the brightness of the overlay, we can do that with a brightness knob here. Let's turn data off. Now, just like the, again, the air to air radar, we can also go ahead and assign our throttle designator control or TDC to it. And just like the other uh, sensors, based on the DDI the sensor is displayed, we'll move the sensor control switch or the SCS switch in that direction. So because we have the radar on the right DDI, we'll move the SCS switch to the right. And we do that, we now have a dime in the top right corner indicating that the TDC is assigned to it. And now we can actually move the TDC controller, looks like a captain's bars. So by depressing the TDC and holding it, we stabilize it and then we release. Now we locked onto that point and the range automatically adjusts itself to best suit that point. And then pressing the undesignate button on this control stick removes that designation. Let's go back and designate a target again. Say in the city here press release, we can also see that designation now through the HUD. And this is a really handy way to set up a designation to cue, say, a FLIR pod or your eyes to a target. Anyhow, folks, I very much hope you enjoyed this first look at the air to ground radar, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.